Well, we all know that uh, product-wise, uh, fashion is going forward more into man-made fibers. And it's important that uh, we have to understand the investment uh, steps to understand uh, how do we build the capacity to support that need. Because the uh, fashion industry is very challenging. It's uh, the behavior pattern of cus ultimate customers changes with the situation. And it's a lifestyle support. We support the lifestyle, so people's lifestyle have to be reviewed and the investment have to be proportionately invested. So we see that uh, for next two decades, uh, people are more health friend, uh, health uh, freak. Uh, they want to go to gym and they want to go to more activities to have. So the lifestyle wise active wear comes in, right? So if you see pre-COVID and post-COVID demand and clothing, you will see a lot of active wear. People wearing less denim, more into uh, jeggings or leggings or um, joggers, right? So this is this was not even five years back or seven years back. So this change in people's uh, uh, lifestyle had actually designed the change of outerwear and activewear more into the global industry. So as a matter of fact, I believe that for Bangladesh, uh, investing into outerwear and other man-made activewear product will be potential because the, uh, eventually the markets are going and growing and this is the product which is also environment friendly because for cotton-based product, cotton needs to take a lot of water and uh, we the world is having crisis on all these natural resources so I believe the jacket will be an ultimate product for us to grow sustainably.